With over 500 ambassadors, Bloodhound is having a huge effect in schools all over the country. The projects they develop with inspired teachers are creating much more than just a renewed interest in STEM subjects, as we saw at Heathland School in Hounslow. One, I made the original link with Bloodhound SSC because I wanted to get somebody in to talk about science in their job. And um, the ambassador came along, yep, got the Bloodhound SSC car into the school's sports hall, had primary schools, um, general public and all our students down to see it. And then after that we set up um, a Bloodhound Rocket Club and that runs every single Wednesday. Uh, I'm just untangling the string which we're going to be using to test out the parachute today. Um, we're casting tin foil for um, the light gate, so when the car passes through, we'll know how quick it is. I didn't expect it to be this big, no. um, but it's been the enthusiasm of Bloodhound as well. Like, I think if someone had come along and disappeared off for the day and not said a lot, that would have been the end of it. Jazz has been amazing. Yeah, but Jazz has been super and um, suggested, firstly, the Bloodhound Day, which we all jumped at basically, and uh, started planning that immediately, and then said, would you like some help with the club? And I was like, yes, please come. <laughs> and now, more or less, the students from our club. Yeah, 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 we turn up and we just watch, basically. After months of experiments, there are five new cars ready, and some students are predicting speeds of 200 miles per hour. We had about four test runs. The most recent one was actually on Wednesday, which is our fourth test run. So the first one, we had an issue with the guide ride braking. The second one, we had an issue with stopping the car. The third one, we also had an issue with stopping the car. And the fourth one, we actually stopped the car successfully and pretty much everything else worked. So at, we can see as we progressed through the different test runs to learn what we, where we went wrong and how we can improve things. <laughs> Basically it's made from these balsa wood cutouts that we've just kind of stacked together and uh, that's where the rockets are going to go in. So if we just peel that off right the way across. Ready to fire in five, four, three, two, one! The cars all make successful high-speed runs, but they all sustain some damage while trying to stop. As with Bloodhound, their speeds won't count unless they can make a return run within the hour. The fastest car is sadly little more than matchwood, and they're written off by the timekeepers. Total uh, write-off, I think. Really? Yeah. yeah. The teams work furiously to repair their cars. With the fastest car out of the running, it seems that the three-rocket Hawking has the best chance of setting the world record. But there's a problem. One of the rockets didn't fire, and the run isn't fast enough. You were, you were that close. Oh, no, no, sure Incredibly, that. the Da Vinci team reappear, having reassembled the car. But there are only minutes left before the time runs out. It's just all super glued together now. Um, all the spare parts um, are simply where we planned it would break. Just take the whole track. Right, right, loads, 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 loads. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, that was... Right, we good? A new record of over 200 miles per hour is a terrific feat, but what is equally exciting is that next year these students will be running the Rocket Car Club for the younger pupils of the school. They are, after all now, the experts. Prediction of 200 miles an hour was, sorry David, what, yes, what, did, what, did, you say? what did you say David? <laughs> Something like student wishful thinking. Student wishful thinking. Now would yeah, you like right. to eat your hat and your words? Well, if I had a hat I would eat it. That is astounding. It is